What's going on guys, Zephnix here. So it looks like Nintendo might be in some danger uh, again. Yeah, we, we've heard this before. It's funny, you know, with Nintendo always going ahead and, uh, you know, going after um, Let's Players and all that stuff here. It, this has got to be karma. I swear, this has got to be karma. It looks like the Nintendo Switch might actually be infringing on some products from Joy, uh, from Game Bytes, rather. Now, for those who don't know, Game Bytes is basically a company that creates these controllers to go ahead and attach to your actual um, tablet and whatever to go ahead and kind of show off kind of like a... Um, a, a kind of like a, a console or or more of a, a gaming experience with consoles you know, with uh, controllers you know it sounds familiar right it's the kind of same thing with um with the Nintendo switch so they kind of go on to say that um the um, the joy con controllers removable joy con controllers are and I quote here are too close to game vice's vision of a combination of detachable game controllers and a device with a flexible bridge section now keep in mind they said a combination of the um of detachable game controller and um device basically the way that works is that uh they actually have controllers where it kind of det it, it attaches differently but it's kind of the same. Now, the reason why I'm actually I'm noticeable of um, Game Vice is because Game Vice is actually a company that uh, I was looking at because I had this idea a long time ago, and all of a sudden I look at Game Vice, and you know my my fiance was making fun of me at the time because uh, she was like, "You should have went ahead and patented your idea," and I'm like, "Yeah." So yeah. Now, is this actually bad for Nintendo? Well, yeah, hell yeah. Is this actually a chance that Nintendo could be in danger? Hell yeah. Um, I've actually seen a particular Game Vice device, and this one actually attaches very similar. In fact, it looks very close to what the actual device, um, what the um, Nintendo Switch actually looks like. In fact, um, the only thing that it only has between each other in terms of difference is the fact that the um, the game, um, the Joy Cons actually have the ability to go ahead and kind of, you know, the accelerators and decelerators and all that stuff, the gyroscopes. Um, that's the only difference. And that's not enough of a difference to go ahead and save Nintendo. So basically, the, the company GameVice is asking for two things. And this is this is the where the salty part comes into play, ladies and gentlemen. They were asking for a a um a um what do you call it a uh, some royalties for damages. Which yeah, okay, because they came out there, they're actually um you know they are causing a lot of damages here and in, in there and there for their sales and whatnot. Uh, and the second thing that they're actually causing is um, they want they want uh, a cease and desist of all selling of um, Nintendo Switch consoles. Can they do this? Well, yeah. Is it a chance that they might win? Yes. Uh, it's actually a very good chance that they might win. Now, here's the thing about this. A lawsuit like this takes a while to come to fruition. Um, Nintendo has plenty of time to go ahead and say, all right, well, we'll do it a different way. So they could actually go ahead and create a brand new system to go ahead and get past this very easily. Um, that being said, also note that um, uh, the Joy-Cons, I believe, have Rumble in it. I hope they do. If they don't, ooh, but they do. Um, I do believe they do. They also have a couple of things that may actually go ahead and make it that much different um, to the part where it may not even be an issue. Hopefully, I don't know the way the game game vices connect, but hopefully the way they connect is also a different, um, a different. You know, I believe it connects with Bluetooth and things of that nature. So um, we're hoping that all of that will go ahead and um, and make a big dent in the whole argument with game vice because I really want to see. Um, despite the fact that I, I, I uh, it's funny because I was going to make a video just a couple of days ago talking about do we even want the Nintendo Switch because Nintendo's um, got this problem where they can't go ahead and give us all the Nintendo Switch that we want, you know, you know, for the masses. So do we even want it? Because there's plenty of games on the um, on the iOS as well as um, the Android, especially the Android that is, you know, in certain cases sometimes even equivalent to how good the Nintendo games are. Yeah, I bitch, I said it. You know, um, you know, believe me, I'm, I'm stretching the truth there with that one. But I'm just saying there are some good ones. So my question is, do we actually want that? But that's not that's neither here or there right now, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Do you think that Nintendo's going to go ahead and go down? Because remember, if they if they go ahead and miss this, if they if they fail, if they lose, they lose entirely. There's like they it's a big dent in their um maybe not. Well, kind of. 
Here's the thing. Nintendo is putting a lot of effort into creating brand new games for this, including a brand new Metroid. They've already paid for it and all that stuff there. So if they were, they would lose that money unless they come up with something very quickly. So uh, can they come up with something? I'm pretty sure they got their R&D development um, team actually working on something that is um, not infringing on that patent. So uh, basically, uh, I sincerely doubt if, if Nintendo is smart, there's nothing to worry about because I'm pretty sure that they're actually working already on a different version just in case something does happen. What do you guys think? Comment section below. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.